Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered how can you properly measure a capacitor? Well, you will find that today. So again Banggood helped me out and uh, sent me this device right here, which is an LCR meter. This is a specialized device for measuring inductance, capacitance and resistance. So that means that you can measure inductors, capacitors or resistors. And it can measure them pretty accurately. So this device is very important for those that uh, do repairs and need to find out a value that they don't know. And especially if the device is an uh, SMT device, which is small and it doesn't have any writing on them, so then you need to find out the exact value. You will find all the necessary links and a discount code into the description. And also you will find some pretty cool sales happening right now on the Banggood site. So this is the East Tester ET4410 LCR meter. They have a couple of models which will differ in the quality of the measurements they provide. This is the top tier line, it has the best accuracy and all of that. And as I said, you can measure inductors, capacitors and resistors. And what an LCR meter does better than a multimeter, it tells you a lot of details about the specs of that part, especially capacitors. This device has um, a pretty nice interface. The device is pretty straightforward. It has the leads. It has this alligator style clips that you can uh, hold your part and measure it. And to do a measurement, you can use the automatic. And right when I will uh, connect a component to it, it will know what exactly it is. For example, right now it says I have a capacitor of 900 microfarads and this capacitor is a 1000 microfarad. The capacity will vary a little depending on the frequency you are testing the capacitor at. In auto mode you have this uh, D specification of the cap and if for example you want to measure the ESR of the um, capacitor which means equivalent series resistance you just go and select capacitance and ESR. You can change through the specs like this. So this cap has 0.0218 ohms, which is considered a low ESR capacitor. And let me show you a bad capacitor, like so. We have 1.9 ohms ESR. And that's not a great thing. Let's see, this cap I suppose it's from an ESC package. This one has 0.07 and so on. You can test a lot of them. Let's test a film capacitor, which is uh, not an electrolytic. So I have a 100 nanofarad capacitor here. So the device reads exactly 100 nanofarads. So let's go now and set it back on auto and let's take a resistor, clip the leads onto the part and the device already saw that I have a 1.2 kilo ohms resistor and if we look to the code we see that we have brown red red which means 1.2k. Let's take an inductor and clip the leads onto it. And as you can see, we have a 3.6 micro Henry inductor. Also with an uh, LCR meter, you can measure a lot of other things, but uh, I will not go into too much uh, technical details. If you guys are interested in uh, owning an LCR meter, especially for measuring capacitors, because electrolytic capacitors tend to degrade over time, then I will highly recommend uh, this East Tester ET4410 or you can find some um, modules on Banggood site which are cheaper than this model but if you want something uh, good at a low price then uh, this East Tester is uh, the way to go. 
I am happy to add this to my collection of tools I have in my lab and I will definitely start making more repair videos for you guys. If you have broken devices that you want to donate for my channel, I will uh, gladly accept it and uh, have more material to work on in the future. If you found this interesting, press that like button. Also, if you have questions, I will gladly try and answer them. And thank you. Till the next time. Bye.